Okay, we're going to talk about constructing a congruent angle. So you're going to be given an angle, and your task is going to be to construct a congruent angle. We're going to start by constructing a ray. The length is not really important, but you want to give yourself plenty of room, so we're going to make it pretty long. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our original angle and we're going to create an arc. And the only requirements for that arc are that it intersects both sides of the angle. There's no requirement for how far the arc is from the vertex, but don't make it too close because you'll make it difficult for yourself. So give yourself plenty of room. And without changing the compass, we want to construct a similar arc right down here. So that's what I have so far. Now what I want to do is I need to know how far along this arc do I need to put a point of intersection to draw the other side of my ray. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to measure the distance from here to here. And if you recall from constructing congruent line segments, when I use the word measure, I mean I'm going to open up my compass that length. So I'm going to put the point of my compass right here on this intersection point, and I'm going to open it as wide as the other intersection point. And to demonstrate, I'll draw an arc right there, and you can see that it goes right through that point. Now I'm going to create the same I'm going to mirror that right down here. Put the point of my compass on the known intersection and then draw this arc. This intersection point right here will make the other ray of my angle. So all I need to do is connect these two points. We'll call this A prime We'll call this C prime. And now I know that angle ABC is congruent to angle A prime, B prime, C prime.